Margaret Thatcher's principles were based on traditional conservative ideas of the integrity of the individual, traditional values, the rule of law, the kind of things that, that set conservatism apart. Probably the most uh, noticeable trait of Mrs. Thatcher's is her commitment to principle. Margaret Thatcher was always very gracious. She really was interested in people. Uh, she was extremely courteous to anyone, no matter who they were. And she was also very frank. She was candid in her views, uh, not in a hostile or arrogant way, but rather in a way that showed that she cared deeply about the things that she stood for and her willingness to give her advice uh, unfettered by any feelings of political correctness or anything else that might stand in the way. She really gave us a model of the kind of staunch conservative but principled conservative and courageous conservative woman that we'd like to see in leadership around the world. Margaret Thatcher's role with us here at the Heritage Foundation has been truly central. When we were able to honor Lady Thatcher with our Claire Booth Loose Medal, when we were able to present her to hundreds and hundreds of members of the Heritage Foundation, it was really one of the high points of my years at the Heritage Foundation because we could share this international treasure with so many people all over the all over the United States who just really loved and admired her for everything she had done and everything she stands for. That's why we're so proud to have a statue of her in our boardroom. That's why we're so proud to have the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom here at the Heritage Foundation. Her frequent visits to Heritage, her willingness to talk with the interns as well as members of the staff, her genuine concern for the principles of conservative philosophy, all of these things have made her a very important part of heritage. I think that the people who come to work for the Heritage Foundation not only uh, identify with the principles that Margaret Thatcher uh, so strongly identified with, but actually have a, a desire to learn about the leaders of our movement and how you can take principles and translate them into successes in the political world. I think that Margaret Thatcher's greatest legacy is the contribution that she made both to turning around her own country, uh, the United Kingdom, uh, after a period of uh, socialism government uh, and uh, also to the leadership she gave to the free world. She knew that no one was above the law and that everyone had to be treated equally under the law. She knew that individual liberty is paramount. She knew that there was a very special relationship between the United States and the United Kingdom and that if we don't stick up for each other, we're both going to be much the weaker for it. That's one of the reasons why her successors in both political parties have not really undone that part of the Thatcher legacy at all. People from my generation must, must think about how blessed they have been to have watched these tremendous leaders, Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher, change the world. And for those of us who played a small part in being an encouragement and a support and a part of their team, uh, whether it was their actual team or their cheerleading team, uh, have a legacy that it's important that we share with future generations. Her legacy really is one that will go on for decades and decades, and generations really. She was literally the most important political figure in the second half of the 20th century in the UK.